Hey everybody, it's Rafi Azurb, and in this video we're going to go through the menu component. Now the menu component is a component that can be used to create all types of different navigation patterns. It comes in this very simple style setup, but you can use all the kinds of modifier classes to really get the results that you want and to create the menu that you'd like and combine it with other components like JavaScript and other visual elements which we'll show you in a different video. So let's hop over to the menu component. You can create this with a UL with a class of menu. And then you have your list items inside and you can add your anchor tags in there. So this is the basic setup, but we have modifier classes that could easily help you get the look and feel that you're going for. So in terms of styling, it comes very plain. If you hover over the items, the list items get slightly darker as you hover over them. Now, just a little bit of CSS can go a long way to style these things, so it's very easy to style. So in this case, we added a background color to the menu class, and the list items can have a background color too. If you don't put a background color on the class of menu, which is the UL itself, then it will only span to the list items. So if you want it to go all the way across, just add the background color to the UL itself. And then a simple hover function that we added here, uh, color function. Uh, so when you hover over it, you get some lightning happening on the menu and then targeting the anchor colors with a white color. So this, you can add CSS to these menus to style them any way you want really easily. But we're gonna go through some of the available classes that you can use. So the first one is align right. So you can send the list items over to the right. Uh, this is especially handy if you're in a left to right environment for some different languages. Uh, you'll notice that if you do this, it does reverse the order of the list items also. So again, helpful in a left to right environment. But this might be something that you'll use uh, if you had like some social icons that should be pushed over to the right on top of your main navigation maybe. Okay, if you want to send your, your menu, you can add a wrapper so we'll add menu-centered and we'll put our menu inside of this wrapper. And when we do that, you see that the menu now becomes centered in the middle of the screen, no matter what size of screen we're on. So that's also really handy. And we'll go ahead and remove that. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is add the expanded class. So by adding the expanded class, you'll see that each list item will split itself evenly. So even width for each one, and they'll fill the entire width of the container. So they'll no longer be width auto and now they will each have, in this case, if there's four, 25% width. The nice thing about this is I don't have to worry about how many items I'm adding in, especially if I'm programmatically adding items in, they'll split themselves evenly uh, within this container. So as you can see here, now we have six, so they're gonna split themselves evenly that way. If I go down to just three list items, again, so now we'll have each one be approximately 33.333% width, which is really neat. Now, also, if you wanted to center those, you can use our text-center helper class, and now that'll center the text inside of those list items. Another class that's really handy is the vertical class. So what if we wanted to make a vertical set of links or some type of sidebar? We can actually 
add the class of vertical to this. So if we add the class of vertical, you'll see that each list item will go 100% width of the container that it's in. So as you can see, they're all 100% width, and now all the items are going down vertically, which is nice. And if we wanted to make some type of sidebar, of course, we could just wrap this in a set of row and columns. So in this case, we'll go ahead and do a medium dash four column section. And we'll enclose our navigation inside of this. So if we take this and put it inside of this four column container, it's vertical. Now you'll see that it looks more like a sidebar. And then later on, you can combine this with Magellan or other things uh, to kind of, or sticky to scroll down the page as the user scrolls. You can also take out some of the default styling of foundation with a simple class. So by default, you can see that there is padding all the way around the anchor tag. And that's what's really creating the spacing here between these list items. So there's actual padding on the anchor tag. But if we wanted to change that up and not use padding, let's say we wanted a hover effect like an underline underneath one of these list items and we only wanted the width of the text inside, there might be reasons that you want to override that. So the simple class is available to tack onto the menu and that's going to remove the padding. So now you can see that the width of the, of the anchor tag is exactly the width of the text. And so that might uh, let you style it custom in a different way. So the spacing between the list items is actually now being controlled by right margin. So if you wanted to adjust that, you can simply target the list items and then adjust the margin right on each one. Going on from there, there's also a way to nest these menus. So let's say we had a vertical menu. So we'll go back to our vertical menu here. And now we want to nest these list items. So we can go inside one of these list items and right after the anchor tag, we'll add a nested UL in here. And again, it's a UL with a class of menu. Okay, so you can see that it looks like it's just another list underneath it. So if we add the nested class to the UL, what that does is it shifts it over one. So shifting it over gives it kind of a visual hierarchy. Now you can see that this is a sub list of the original list. So that's another useful class you can use to style menus. Additionally, you might want to add an active class to one of these list items. So we'll just grab the first one and add a class of active. And this just gives you a little bit of a visual treatment to show your users that this is the option or the page that they're on. So especially if you're using this in a site-wide navigation, you would be switching the active class on different pages, depending on which page you're adding the code onto. And this is something that it's a class, so you can actually attach it with JavaScript. If people click on a specific uh, link or list item, then it would uh, switch the active class onto that particular one. So really uh, good to have a class that automatically styles that for you. Okay, and then since this is a menu, you can also add a class that will style your uh, menu logo or your site name a little bit differently. So if we add the class of menu text, and then we go ahead and change this to something like this, you can clearly see that uh, it spaces the list items apart, gives it a little bit more padding, and then it also uh, creates some bolded text there that just differentiates it from the other list items. So this is how you would create a logo using the foundation menu. And last but not least, we can also add icons into our menus to make a really cool icon bar. 
So we don't need any extra classes on the UL for this one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add our favorite icon fonts in here. So I have this font awesome dollar sign icon and then we're going to add a span this time. So the span will surround the text of the link. So we'll put our one, two, three back in here. And you can see that what the span does is actually make sure that the icon is lined up perfectly with the text. So here we have three icons next to text. Now if we do want to add a class on here that will flip the icon to be on top, we can just add the icon top class. And boom, now you have an icon bar with icons on top of the text. So you can see how this could easily help you make a bunch of different menu components. So the foundation menu class uh, really takes care of a lot of different use cases for you. Now with all of these, you can actually combine classes. So we'll go ahead and combine our expanded class onto this. And you can see that you can use them together with other classes. Now that's a lot of stuff that you can build with just one class, the foundation menu component.